JVC, JVC, SP, SG2, BT. What makes this thing so special? It doesn't exist. Obviously it exists. I'm holding it in my hands, but you can't find it on their website. Not under that model number. Did this fall in from some parallel universe? Maybe. Look, I'll be the first to admit that a lot of the things I review come from companies you've never heard of, but JVC has been around for 97 years. What I love about this speaker is they make absolutely no claims whatsoever. It's a wireless speaker. That's it. They don't claim to sound good. They don't claim to be waterproof. Even the battery claims of 16 hours is up to 16 hours, which means absolutely nothing. Even the back of the box doesn't show you anything. It's just this picture of a guy that fell off a mountain waiting for the buzzards to come pick his bones clean. Since you won't find this on the JVC website, I might as well tell you about it. It features this nylon cord, and I hope you like it because there's no way to take it off unless you have a knife. Another feature are these buttons that appear to be unlabeled, unless you have a bright light and a magnifying device of some kind. Behind this rubber panel, you will find an analog input jack, a USB-C port, and an LED that lights up when it's charging. Behind this speaker grill, you will find a 45 millimeter driver, which is about the same size of a speaker that they have in a full-size set of headphones. The manual says this speaker has three watts of power. I believe it. The Gumi Plus supports Bluetooth 5.3, it has a 33 foot range, and it only weighs 13 ounces. Like most Bluetooth speakers, you can accept or reject phone calls with this device. It also supports TWS, True Wireless Stereo, if you have two of them. It also supports Siri, but I don't think that's useful on any device, so I didn't even bother testing it. But you want to know how this sounds. Look, it's an inexpensive 3 watt speaker. How do you think it sounds? Um, actually not that bad. This is the kind of speaker that you set out on the fire table while you're enjoying beverages with your friends. This is not a high fidelity product. You won't get much trouble and there's very little bass. It is a solid mid-range experience and sometimes that's fine. How do I review a product like this? They don't make any promises, so they can't underdeliver. It excels in no way whatsoever. It just seems to be designed to fade away and be the background music of your life. Three out of five stars. Thanks for stopping by.